Like there, this is like devil energy. Like you get what I'm saying? There are people that are preying on your downfall who don't believe in what it is that you're doing. And they don't believe in it because they don't understand it. It's not for them to understand. But because they don't understand it, they're speaking negatively over your life. They're speaking negatively over your over your finances, over your career, over what you got going on. What's up guys? It's your girl Nydia Rabomani. Welcome to Soul Search Tarot. We're back again. Let's light this up. <laughs> If you're new here, thank you for coming. And if you've been here before, this is a very new channel. Thank you so much for being here. Let's clear the energy. Okay, let's clear my energy too, girl. Because, oof, we're going to get into some things today. <clears throat> I don't know where this cough is coming from, but I don't know if y'all are experiencing like flu-like symptoms since the eclipse last night. I mean, yesterday, that ring of fire. Yeah, I think everybody's experiencing some sort of, <clears throat> you know. <laughs> Anyways, let me light my incense. <clears throat> I need to make me some tea for real. Okay. So what's up guys? Um, so again, like I was saying, this is full search tarot redefined by human design. And if you don't know what human design is, human design is a system. It's based on the ancient I Ching um, chakra system and astrology. And it basically tells us what um, energy was present in our body at the time of birth. Okay. And so what that helps us understand is what we have the capacity for. It gives us a direct look into our life's purpose, um, where in which we, the planets were aligned and the energy where it was aligned in our body um, so that we can know what path we're supposed to go down. You ever notice that some people have more energy than others to give to certain things and that's because everybody is different. The matrix likes to make it seem like everybody has to work in this rat race, but a lot of people just don't have the energy for that. You have projectors, you have manifesting generators, you got generators, um, you got reflectors, and um, I hope I didn't miss one. Manifesting generators, generators, projectors, manifestors, yeah. So these are all um, types. And basically, these types let us know, like, who is good for what? Like manifesting generators have a lot of energy in their body. They can regenerate their energy. And so they can delegate their time to different things that they love. But they have to do what lights them up. And that's how they succeed in life. Projectors, on the other hand, ciao. We hold another, we, we a whole different vibe, okay? <clears throat> we, we, we need sleep. Projectors are the people of the world who just take in a lot of energy because we have a lot of open energy centers. And so if you don't do the shadow work and you don't do the healing, you could, you know, experience a lot of burnout and stuff like that. So what that tells us is that projectors don't really do well in nine to fives. Neither do some manifesting generators. It really depends on your fucking profile. But anyways, I digress. That was my little introduction. Um, so let me, let me just tell you what I was thinking about earlier, because what I was hearing, first of all, I don't do love readings. These readings are only exclusive to career and success readings and life purpose readings. Okay. Like I said, it's all about helping you discover who you were designed essentially to be from birth before you even got here, babes. There was a design. Put in place you were given your own little 
schnooze. You don't have to wing it through life. You can use human design to give you an inside scoop onto your life path, your life purpose, even down to the shadows in which you have to heal inside of yourself, even down to the open centers. And the open centers leave, leave us to the um, darkest parts of ourselves that we need to heal. Because a lot of times we find ourselves going through life. It even tells us what we could have experienced karmically and trauma and stuff like that. So human design is something else. It's accurately, it's eerily accurate. Um, but I digress. So the, the reading today, I was channeling like some Nicki Minaj song, like all things ago. And I'm not going to sing it. I'm not going to sing it, but that's what I was channeling. And what I took from that was there's somebody out there who is taking a leap of faith, like uh, into unknown, unchartered territories, into something that they've never done before, into a whole nother scope of like something that really lights them up inside. And it's scaring them a little bit, but while they're taking this leap of faith towards a career to finally live the life that they've always wanted to live, a lot of people are getting left behind and they kind of feel guilty about choosing themselves for once because they've had a, a childhood in which wasn't the best. And so there's a person or a collective of people who are being challenged and being tested by spirit to go the extra mile, to try something new, to do this thing. But also, it's spirit is telling you to leave people behind. And I know you feel, <clears throat> excuse me, some of y'all might be getting choked up over this. Um, I know you feel like you want everybody to come with you. That everybody can't go where you're going. It's just, it's just not, it just wasn't designed that way. Everybody can't go where you're going. And in order for you to be the highest version of yourself, there has to be people who are left behind. There has to be. These people are no longer on the same frequency as you. They don't operate at the same level as you. They don't have the same capacity for what you have. And if you continue to have these people around, they're going to like bring you down. Right now, it's high time for this person or the collective to give all their energy to something that they've always wanted to do because there are blessings at the end of this. There are is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I'm seeing the Lucky Charms box, um, the 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 gold pot of gold that you've always wanted, but you feel guilty for choosing yourself, but you shouldn't. Because this is a solo journey. The whole reason we come here is for our soul's evolution. Life is school. And so people are just a bonus. Family is just a bonus. You get what I'm saying to you? <coughs> Hold on. Let me put my mic in because I don't even know if y'all can hear me. There we go. Hopefully y'all can hear me better. So what I was saying was is that Life is school. People, your mom, your dad, your sister, your cousin, your brother, all those people are just a bonus. They're along for the ride. They are here to teach you lessons so that you can evolve to the highest version of yourself. Not so that you can drag people around with you. It don't work like that. You didn't come here for people. You came here for your own soul's evolution to reach your highest potential. To enact whatever it is that that you're designed to do, okay? So if that's you, keep on watching because you shouldn't feel guilty about this. You gotta sort of let that go. You gotta make peace with the fact that this is a solo journey. I know you want everybody to come, but they can't, okay? So um, this particular reading is for projectors and it's for um, air sign projectors. So. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, so let's get into it. 
the spirit. I call on my angels, answers, and spirit guides, and I ask you to hear what doesn't mean here now. I ask you to cover me and protect me in the collective and allow me to see the messages clearly and precisely. Allow me to see them accurately as well. Ashe. Here we go. Let's see where we're going with this one because you got a big decision to make, babes. You got to start investing in yourself. Because I'm going to let you have it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to let you have it. Let's shuffle these cards. Okay. One more. I'm getting you guys are feeling very at peace, but it's like a little bittersweet, you know? Like you're getting what you want finally, once and for all, but it's like coming at a cost. Everything comes at a cost, but you can't bring every you can't bring everybody with you, babes. And then you're reminiscing about the past. It's like this this um eclipse has really given people insight into their past, and so really making people look at their decisions and what they've done over the course of the last 10 years <clears throat> and what they can do differently. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Okay, and cut the dirt. Okay, three is a charm. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Okay, so the feeling of this reading is King of Cups, right? So the King of Cups teaches us in the um, upright position to have balance, to be fair, learn how to be like Hobasawa. If you know, you know. Um, however, the King of Cups in reverse is very um, impulsive. He makes bad decisions, gives bad advice. Um, he can be very cold. Um, hmm. Like a tyrant almost, right? Okay, let's see where this is going. <sighs> Let me clarify. Yeah, please clarify the King of Cups. Please clarify the King of Cups, Spirit. Okay. Sheesh. There we go. 
ascended masters create open communication. Hmm. Okay, so King of Cups is clarified by Ascendant Masters. Create open communication. Hmm. So, <coughs> um, you might be being guided to listen to what spirit is telling you spirit is probably urging you to leave these people behind there are some people that are really causing you stress right now because either you're coming into some sort of inheritance and there are people who want to come with you or like mooch off of you so spirit is really telling you to tap into your spirit team really listen to the signs and synchronicities that that are coming to you okay don't ignore this there's open communication happening on the other side and you need to really pay attention to what's happening right now because <clears throat> it's imperative that you listen to spirit at this time because there are clues in the things that are being given to you right now and the tasks that are being delegated to you by spirit and it's important to the overall the overall um, inheritance and support okay let's see okay your beliefs what you value, the second house. Uh, basically, what you want to get, what you need. Okay, so we have the second house. Okay, so the second house represents our values and our resources. So there are a lot of things that are available to you right now and there are things that could be more open to you right now but you are in this kind of stuck energy and the reason you're in this stuck energy is because you're trying to hold on to something you really need to practice detachment you really need to practice detachment like the art of detachment is when abundance comes in a lot of people they manifest and they do certain things like that but they don't they're too attached to the outcome and if they're not too attached to the outcome of said situation they're attached to people places and things that their energy is holding them back from getting what it is that they want like spirit wants to bring bring you a, a blessing but at the same time like you're holding on to something too tight to the point where there's people around you whose spirit doesn't want to have a, a piece of this blessing. So until you remove those people and you really learn your lessons in dealing with those people and spirit knows that you're not going to keep going back to those people and over and over again, um, they're going to bring in this blessing. But right now, it's almost like you're on a short leash because there are people that you're still dealing with that it's not supposed to reap from what your blessings are bringing in. Okay? So the influence of this reading is um, the Three of Pentacles. So we have the Three of Pentacles here. So the Three of Pentacles can represent teamwork, um, collaborations, learning, but in the opposite, it can represent disharmony and misalignment, like working in, in a state of lack, like I just said. Um, but ultimately, the three of pentacles lets us know that everything is coming together but there are some loose ends that you have to tie up like what i just said okay so let's let's dive into this deeper and if you hear any noise in the background listen that's the fucking garbage cut that come every night okay i don't know why i'm in new york why do garbage come at this time i don't fucking know Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. 
Leffy, Leffy. Okay. One more. Okay, spiritual evolution. Okay, set yourself free. So, um, so when I see the three of pentacles and spiritual evolution together, what I'm seeing is, is that you, you're leaning on the wrong people to be a part of this blessing. There are other people around you who have the skills and talents that you need because the three of pentacles can, like I said, be teamwork. But the the kind of team you're trying to build around you, they're not suited for this position. They're not suited to help you. They're not suited confirmation. They're not suited for where you're going. But there are people that are around you or that are coming into your vicinity that are well suited to assist you on this path by either helping you along the way, helping you with your business or um, giving you an opportunity. But these opportunities aren't going to come in unless you move these other people out the way. This harmony and misalignment is going to happen if you keep these people around i'm telling you right now you're aligned with your purpose you're aligned with the things that you need to be doing you're aligned with something that you truly love that's going to bring you great value however don't fuck it up by holding on to tight to these people that are either begging you for money or like i'm hearing like oh you think you're a big shot oh you think you this like, these are the type of people that jokey joke with you, but it's not really a joke. Like, oh, um, like those types of cousins that be like, oh, big, big keg with all the money. Oh, look who's here. Like those mocking ass cousins that be, that be secretly hating on you. Like, but they want to stay close enough to you because they know that one day your shit going to pop off. Yeah, that, those type of people. Yeah, it's people around you like that. Pay attention to those people. Look at the bottom of the deck. It says, open your intuition. Seek clarification. There are people around you. There are eyes. You see those eyes right there? You have a lot of eyes on you right now. In your family, in your immediate circle. People who are watching you very closely or watching your pockets, who are watching you blow up. You're not quite there yet, but um, they're watching you blow up. They're watching you get your pinnacles. And <laughs> it's funny I said that because the next card, which is the emotional block, is, ten is not a pinnacles. This card. Okay, and as you know, the nine of pentacles is represents our fruits of labor, like it's one pentacle shy of ten of pentacles. So that's like luxury, contentment, you being happy, self sufficiency. But in the reverse, it, it, it's, it's not good, it, it represents fear, insecurity, and like things being stuck in limbo. So these people are really watching your pockets right now. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try to figure out why you're holding on so tight to this, though. Because this is odd. Like, why are you holding on to these people so much? Where is the emotional block coming from? Where is the lack coming from? Okay. So, there's two things happening here. The reason that you are so successful is because you're a go-getter. You could be a Libra. You could be an Aquarius. You could be a Virgo. You could be a Capricorn. You, you're, you're obsessive over work. Like, you're a hard worker. Like, work, play, whatever. Like, work and play don't go together for you. You like to get shit done. You're very analytical. You use your logical mind to get shit done. <laughs> But 
I'm telling you right now, there are people in the background watching at your every move. And they're, they're preying on your downfall too. They're speaking negative over your life. They're speaking very negative over your life. And you don't understand that these are hidden enemies, but they're right in your face. Okay? So the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Now's the time to make investments. Like invest in yourself. Okay. But I'm telling you right now, invest in yourself by delegating your life in a very um, fine-tuned way. Okay. You need to give yourself a book. Like write, write everything down in the book and write the pros and cons of the things that are in your life. Like when we talk about quantum jumping, right? We can quantum jump into any timeline that we want. We just have to assume the position, basically. You have to assume the position of the person you want to be. And the person that you see yourself as, that you're working towards, would not be surrounded by people who are in lack, who are in a lack mindset, who are gossiping, who are like not taking life seriously, not in alignment with you on a spiritual, emotional, and physical level, especially when it comes to your work and your career. So just think about the celebrities of the world. Like you don't see them hanging around certain people, do you? Okay. So let's clarify the nine of pentacles. Use my other deck because I want to see why you're trying to hold on to these people so bad because they ain't good people babe they're they're fucking snakes please clarify the nine of pentacles I think I think I think I know why but let me just confirm I think you're holding on to these people because they remind you of familiarity they remind you of something that feels good to you. You're not used to having the things that you want, but you're getting them now. And you have to kind of switch your mindset to operate like a like a like a person who's on the come up. Because the mistake that people make when they become millionaires and how they don't keep their millions is because they try to put the whole hood on. And and, and that'll never end well. <laughs> Alchemy. Okay. Hmm. Alchemy. Okay. Give me give me a give me a second. Cause I need to do. Let me get one more. Let me get one more spirit. Entrapment. Okay. You got alchemy and entrapment. And then you got the, the, the nine of pentacles. Okay. So, what I'm seeing is that you're a person who comes from a, a poverty a poverty background, a poverty stricken background. And you're not used to having the things that you have. That's why you work so hard, right? And there are a lot of people around you who do not understand what you're doing. They don't understand your work ethic. They don't understand how you're doing what you do. They don't even understand the workings behind what it is that you're doing. You could be a computer analyst. You could be an entrepreneur, like someone who is like a... um into stocks, trading, Bitcoin. You could be somebody who is starting their own business from scratch, but like something very specific, like a, um, you could be even doing digital marketing. 
people don't understand this in your family, in your friends. They don't know what you're doing. They don't get it. They have a, um, I'm going to say a hood mentality. They got a hood mentality. They got a mentality where they're just stuck in a, in a mindset of they believe having a good job is having a state job, which is nothing wrong with that. But they don't believe that what you're doing is is legit and real and true until you have all your pinnacles come in. So I think you're kind of stuck between like hanging on the block, so to speak. Because it's not a literal hanging on a block. It's just being in the same vicinity of people that you grew up around that you know, like familiarity, like I said earlier. You have an insecurity with this newfound um, abundance that you're coming into because you kind of feel like you don't deserve it. But at the same time, you work very hard for it, but you don't align with it. Like your mind hasn't caught up to the fact that your life is changing. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so alchemy and entrapment. <sighs> you there are people I'm telling you, there's people behind your back right here. Right here. Like there this is like devil energy. Like you get what I'm saying? There are people that are preying on your downfall who don't believe in what it is that you're doing. And they don't believe in it because they don't understand it. It's not for them to understand. But because they don't understand it, they're speaking negatively over your life. They're speaking negatively over your over your finances, over your career, over what you got going on. And you need to alchemize the energy that you're feeling the the because you're feeling two conflicting energies you're feeling like wow this is great i finally i'm finally starting to reap the fruits of my labor but at the same time you almost feel like an imposter for even having this amount of abundance come in right now so you got to alchemize that negativity though when that when that negativity and that those voices start talking to you in your ear you need to alchemize that you need to you need to Put that into something. Put that into your work. Do something else. But don't go... Because a lot of the times when you start feeling like you don't deserve what it is that's about to come in. And you're starting to see that when you don't deserve it. You go over to these people. You confide in them. You talk to them. You tell them what's going on. They be like, listen, da 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 But they're not really listening. They're not really listening. They have a lot of devil energy. These are your ops. These are your karmic ops. Like these people were 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 put on your timeline to for your soul's evolution, right? And so now it's time for you to like understand that these people are not to stay around. These people are this way. They're at this low density, so that you could see what it looks like to be there and stay there, so that you can elevate. Okay. That's what alchemy is. You get what I'm saying? You have to alchemize on that negative energy that's happening. Let me see this real quick. This is the I need to hear. Oops. What's holding my collective back? Oops. What is holding you back? Let's see. What's holding my collective back? What's holding me back? One more, one more. What's holding the collective back? Okay. It says, from whom can I release my judgment right now? <laughs> okay. Judgment closes our hearts. T 
to truth and separates us from love. It binds us to our fear, holds us in shame on who we are placing judgment right now. Is it someone in your life? Is it yourself? Release the shackles. Drop the expectations. Be grateful what is for what is. Okay? Look at the person you are judging as if you were looking at a small child. See them learning and growing, falling down, making mistakes. See their desire to be loved and accepted. Add even more grace to open your heart to the truth. When I lift the judgment for myself and others, I uncover my own truth. I am love. I am whole. I am limitless. And so are they. <clears throat> so what this card is telling me right now is that there are a lot of people judging you like I just said. Only they're not giving you grace. But you're giving them grace. Which is the type of person that you are. And that's why you're hanging around them. You're like, oh, well, they're my family. I can love them. Da 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 da. Sh -sh 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 -sh. Whatever. But they're not giving you the same grace, babes. Okay? They're judging you while you're accepting them while they're judging you. And while that's a very godly thing to do, um, a very noble thing to do, uh, you can afford that right now with these people. Like I just said. Okay? You just can't. You just can't. You're letting fear stop. Look, look what's at the bottom. I am letting fear stop me. Are you experiencing mountain of fear right now? Are you stalling, freezing up, or giving up? The juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear. You are unstoppable, but it's up to you to take action. Choose to be brave. So right now, you got to be brave, babes. Like, I know you want an entourage, but this is a solo journey. And when you when you reach in a certain level of success, it gets very lonely at the top, okay? And you got to learn how to accept that. I got to Give me one more spirit. Give me one more. Okay. Dreams. Your dreams are coming true. Your dreams are coming true right in front of your face and you have to accept that. That that's just the reality of it. Like you gotta stop living in fear behind this. And as a projector, right? You the fear is coming from your uh your solar plexus you are afraid to tap into your full potential and while you have been doing the things that you need to do you're afraid to actually stand in it but stand firm in it because all your life your your your, your footing has been unsteady it's been ungrounded right and you've leaped from job to job to job to job Investing in certain things that didn't really work out, didn't really pan out, you know, and now you're finally starting to see some fucking cash flow of something else. Um, and your dreams are finally starting to be realized, you know, but you got people in the background that see that what you've been talking about for like the last five years that you really believe in is starting to really turn into the nine of pentacles. Right? But they plotting with you. You gotta open your intuition. Okay? That's what it's saying to you right now. And when we look at the expectations of the reading, we got the four swords in reverse. Rest, relaxation. Um, okay. That's in the upright. Exhaustion, burnout. Deep contemplation, stagnation, restlessness. Ooh. Hmm. I really think you need to you need to spend some time in hermit mode. Let me let me um let me get a card on that spirit. Oh shit. 
Okay, we got judgment. And then we got the five of swords. And you know what judgment is. <clears throat> Rebirth, inner calling, or self-doubt, conflict, um, or past resentment for the five of swords. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, the four of swords is telling you right now you need to rest. You need to rest. As a projector, we need our rest. We need our rest. We need to stay focused. We need to sit down and actually sit with ourselves because our energy centers are all open all over our bodies, right? And so we take in the energies of others all the time, way more than any other fucking type. Well, not more than reflectors, but you get what I mean. But what I'm saying is, is that you spending your time around these people for the ample amount of time that you're around them, they're sucking the life out of you. They're sucking your energy out of you. And I know you love them and I know you care about them. But as a projector, man, you you really you really are, are moving at a fast pace as far as how you're able to regenerate your energy, right? And right now, because things are coming in as fast as they're coming in, with a person that has so many open centers, you can't afford to be around anything that's draining your energy right now because spirit is trying to bring you something big, bigger than you can imagine, okay? But you can't receive it if you're burnt out. You can't receive it if... Tom, Dick, Harry, Jessica, and Sarah has your energy. You can't receive it. Okay? So, I don't know, man. You're going to have to... You're going to have to do something. Because this ain't it. So we got the most likely outcome, which is the three of cups. So this is what's going to happen. <clears throat> you are entering a happy phase of your life. You may be coming, uh, connecting with a long lost friend or relative. Important, you spend quality time with the people you love the most. Overindulgence, heavy partying, celebration, friendship, and collaboration. Okay, so the three of clubs, I'm tired, y'all. The Three of Cups um, is telling us that there's an end coming near. And it's okay to celebrate for your ships coming in. However, don't get too hasty. Don't, don't start overindulging in stuff that you don't need to be overindulging in. You get what I'm saying? These people want you to do low vibrational things because... There's a spirit on them that's working with them to block you from the things that's coming in right now. You've been delayed enough, but a part of that delay is because you can't seem to pull yourself out of these situations and from around these people. And they're hindering you. Seriously. Okay? Yeah. So anyways, child. You, you get on my nerves because I thought this is what you wanted. I really thought this was what you wanted. You got to get away from these people, please. They don't want the best for you. They sure don't. Hold on now. Mm -hmm. What? Huh? Okay, no. Shit. Ugh. I'm sorry, y'all. It'd be other things coming out. <laughs> It'd be other things around. I ask him for shit. Please go away. Ugh. Okay. Please confirm three of cups. Spirit, please confirm the three of cups. Okay, freedom.
freedom, 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 freedom. That's what you're going to have. You're going to have freedom at the end of all this. Okay? If you really truly just believe in yourself and you do what spirit is asking you to do, what spirit is calling you to do, you don't need these people. They're not good for you anyway. What are they good for? Like, what are they good for? They're good for a good time and nothing else. That's it. You you pass good times. You're trying to get good times and good money. Okay. That's what we're trying to do. I don't know what they're doing. They're trying to get good times and good weed. Okay. Dance. <laughs> All right. Let's close out with a with an angel with an angel message. This this reading was kind of like all over the place. I'm not gonna lie, but true. You but you better hear what I'm saying to you. Okay, spirit. Please get my collective angel message. Okay. Okay. All right. Improve and help. Okay. Give me one more. You're ready. Okay? Like I said, you're ready. You've done the work. You've done what you needed to do. You just need one more thing, and that's to get rid of them shicey ass motherfuckers in the background. Okay? Them poo shicey's in the back. Them little dirks in the back. Okay? They, they're not they're not fucking with you like that. They're not fucking with you like how you think they fucking with you. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, they talk nice to your face and all that, but it's just to ensure their spots when you get on and they need to borrow some couple of dollars. What's that? <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. You feel me? Anyways, this reading was kind of like all over the place, but I don't know what type of energy you got right now. You all over the place. You do something else. You're doing too much. You need a break. You need to lay down. You need to rest. Stop drinking so much because it's not really helping you right now. Stop smoking so much weed. It's really hindering your, your ability to see things clearly. Okay? <laughs> I love you. Peace.